Disney loves a good spin-off series. Doug Days, Cars on the Road, Zootopia Plus. But there's a few franchises you've all been craving to get the slick spin-off treatment. Like what happens when the Incredibles grow up? Or what other emotions exist in the Inside Out universe? Stay tuned for more on that. Number 1. Everyone thought the same thing when The Incredibles 2 came out. I wonder what the family is like 15 years later. That's not the story we got though, as fans are still waiting on that version. The Incredibles has been a beloved franchise for nearly 20 years, and lifelong fans desperately want to see the Parr family dealing with the issues we all went through while growing up. Young love, fitting in, retirement, a spin-off series with the family later in their lives could be so amazing. Number 2. What story has more emotional investment than a story about our emotions? And so far we've only looked at joy, sadness, disgust, fear, and anger. How about a different character dealing with admiration, anxiety, boredom, or romance? Disney has announced a sequel in development for the first film, but we think there's even more to mine from this deep franchise. Number 3. As anyone who has spent any time on the internet knows, there's tons to wreck out there. Ralph and Penelope have traveled the internet. And as we all know, it's infinitely vast. These characters can easily go on a journey through many more different parts of the internet in a series. Maybe the pair spend an episode arguing on Reddit with Redditors. <laughs> and then spend a full episode as pirates pirating content for piratebay.org. And don't pretend you've never heard of that website. We know what you did. Number four. While Treasure Planet wasn't a massive hit, the film has become beloved over the years after a bit of rediscovery. Treasure Planet captured fans' hearts for its unique story spanning space and time. The film is based on the Treasure Island novel, and it manages to blur the line between a few different genres. Jim Hawkins proves himself to be a great adventurer in the film, and if Treasure Planet were to have a series, he could go on even more adventures, with a crew of his own or with friends from the original cast, as well as some run-ins with Long John himself. Jim's adventures could take him to new worlds full of danger, thrill, and the treasures that he seeks. There are few Disney series where space is explored, and a series like this would allow them to return to the world of science fiction. Number 5. This one writes itself. The Madrigal family still has their powers at the end of the first film, and a town full of people to help. As anyone with a big family knows, the drama also never ends. What if the Madrigals are not the only family the Encanto has blessed? We are also not alone with this idea as the creators have expressed that they are also open to a potential Disney Plus series. Director Jared Bush said he would be happy to see a show about any member of the family, and writer Castro Smith shared that Lin-Manuel Miranda was very interested in creating a show about Dolores. This beloved quirky robot would be a perfect friend for the climate crisis facing our world at the moment. The original Wall-E film centered around the titular robot, his romance with fan favorite Eva, and the not-so-evolved humans. The film ended with the previously mentioned humans coming back to the Earth. And wouldn't it be great to see Wall-E work together with his robot pals and human friends to make the world a greener place? Without much else going on, Wall-E is so entertaining to watch, so him traversing our future desolate world would be a blast. Number 7. Instead of heading to Europe this summer, why not spend some time in the lost city of Atlantis? In the animated film Atlantis The Lost Empire, Milo Thatch and his expedition companions discover the lost kingdom of Atlantis. The people and their civilization have been cut off from the rest of the world for a long time and have their unique traditions and technological advancements. Some of this is explored in the second film, Atlantis Milo's Return. But the original film was meant to inspire a full animated television series entitled Team Atlantis, which would have presented the further adventures of its characters. The series would have been akin to an animated steampunk version of The X-Files and feature a crossover with Gargoyles. However, because of the film's underperformance at the box office, the series was not produced. Disney released a direct-to-video sequel titled Atlantis Milo's Return, consisting of three episodes planned for the cancelled series. Number 8. Everybody loves a Sherlock Holmes-based series. Well, how about one where he's a mouse? In another take on the iconic Sherlock Holmes, the great mouse detective was met with great success when it first appeared in theaters. 
The film is about a mouse named Basil, a great detective working in London who has a worthy adversary in the evil Professor Radigan. There is a reason that mystery stories, Sherlock Holmes or otherwise, perform so well, and it's because audiences love the thrill of discovering what was once unsolved. Basil is another opportunity to do so, as is his world full of animals who need help. The mysteries he solves may be more family-friendly than his fictional counterpart, but they're no less thrilling and fun. Number 9. Are you old enough to remember this classic Disney film? The story of Robin Hood is a tale as old as time, and its main character is capable of many heroic deeds. The original film tells of Robin Hood when his home in the Sherwood Forest is subjected to an unfair tax and how he leads a light-hearted battle against those responsible. Robin Hood is a sympathetic and generous hero, making fans easily love him as he becomes an outlaw. His motivation for caring for the less fortunate is something that could be built upon, detailing his many adventures as he becomes a hero to every person in Nottingham. Number 10. YouTube audience, meet the Robinsons. Disney's Meet the Robinsons took fans into a world of the future. The main character, a young genius named Lewis, begins his adventure when his latest invention is stolen. He is on the verge of giving up retrieving it when a time traveler named Wilbur appears and takes Lewis into the future. The two boys spend a day in Wilbur's time and learn many secrets while spending time with his family. The film features many eccentric characters with unique personalities. The world has progressed a lot in their time as well, providing the likes of Wilbur, Lewis, and the rest of the family plenty to explore and discover. Number 11. If there's one thing living people are fascinated with, it's the non-living. Coco takes Disney fans into a world often left unexplored, the afterlife. In the film, a young boy named Miguel attempts to undo his family's generational ban on music. His journey takes him to the land of the dead, where he meets a former musician named Hector. The animation in Coco alone is beautiful, but so is the story, as it's a detailed expression of family and loss. But don't you think we could all use a bit more time in the world crafted by this story? Like what's the story behind this guy? Number 12. Longtime Disney fans will recognize these cute crusaders. The rescuers are characters known for their heartwarming and realistic emotions as they aim to help save people who've been abducted. Two mice named Bernard and Bianca go on a journey to save a girl named Penny, who treasure hunters have taken. The story is a classic from Disney and kickstarted more animated projects including a sequel titled The Rescuers Down Under. It is also a fantastic and fun adventure that proves the capabilities of the film's main characters. With two films to their name, Bernard and Bianca are capable of saving more people and creating more stories in a series for sure. Those are all the franchises we believe need a cool spin-off. Any series you think deserves more attention than they're getting? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more animated content. And thanks for watching The Things Animated.